In this lesson I'm going to show you how to apply a drop shadow to text and or objects and then edit that drop shadow. Now to do that I'll go to page 2 here and I'll type in a word such as uh, I think drop is quite appropriate for this and I'll position that there and I want to apply a drop shadow to this piece of text here. Now to do that it's easy. I come over to my vector effects fly out here and I come down and click on drop shadow and that applies a default drop shadow to the text as we can see here. I get these tools down the bottom here where I can hide my effects or bring them back. I can lock my effects so if I've got lots of effects that I don't want to accidentally click on I can lock them out of the way and I also get this tool here which lets me select the drop shadow. And I'll show you how that works. If I click off that and I don't have anything selected and then I select on say this text here and you can see up the top here it's in text. I get this tool up here which indicates I can click on this and that selects the drop shadow and you can see it selected the uh, gizmo here and I can now move this around. I can click on this crosshair here on this node and I can move my drop shadow around as you can see. Other things I can do is I can set the inset here and I can sort of turn that off or I can make it much larger as you can see. And I can adjust these uh, settings here, these drop shadow settings up here in the second row of tools. So whatever I have is selected in Vinyl Master in the second row of tools this populates with the um, what I've got selected, the tools and features of the drop shadow uh, and I can you can see here I can change things numerically like this inset as so. I can change its position, I can type in these values, I can change the drop shadow colour to say red or blue or back to like a light grey or a darker grey if I wanted to. So I've got, the, I've got these controls on the screen. Now I'll show you this outline style what this means. I'll zoom into here and we can see here how this is a rather sharp corner here. So if I select the drop shadow, click on this button here and I'll set it to say smooth, you can see what's happening here, how it's setting that mitered and say round etc. So that's what's happening there is these tools here apply to the actual outline style of the drop shadow. Now there's some interesting things you can do with drop shadow if I turn, for example, I'll just select it again, I'll turn the inset down to zero and I'll select our text here and I'll fly out the uh, object manager and the property inspector here and I'll just bring out this group, I'll go to this artistic text here and I'll set its opacity down so I can actually make it see through. I'll give it a bit of a, uh, say a pen style here and we'll give it some thickness and then we'll move this drop shadow like that and you can see the drop shadow is coming through on the shadow there uh, as you can see, I'll just put that away and zoom that in so we can actually use like opacity effects and outline effects etc to get these sort of uh, very interesting looks in, uh, in, in the program like that so that's where we find drop shadow and how we edit it and that's the end of this lesson